Hey everyone, I'm Olivia Radcliffe and this is an EVM Crash Course. To be able to officially declare your medical device as sterile after processing, you'll first need to go through a series of validation steps. Now, radiation sterilization methods, like E-beam, are regulated by the ISO 11137 standard. There are four main steps to the sterilization validation process, and you'll need both a microbiology lab and your sterilization provider to help walk you through them. The first step is a preliminary assessment. This is done with your micro lab and is used to determine the untreated biological load of your product, or in layman's terms, how many bugs need to be killed. Also called bioburden testing, this helps us determine the minimum internal dose your product needs to be considered sterile. The next step is a material test. This test helps confirm that the materials that make up your product are compatible with the e-beam treatment and is done with your sterilization provider. E-beam services would take several samples of your product and dose them to different levels before sending them back to you so you can test for degradation. This determines the maximum dose your product can see. The third step is to perform a dose map, and this is also done with your sterilization provider. Essentially, dissimilars are placed throughout a case of your product in its final packaging to help us determine the dose distribution throughout that case. This information then helps us know how to properly dose your product so that everything stays within the min and max determined in steps one and two. The fourth and final step is a dose audit or dose verification study. And both your micro lab and your sterilization provider will help with this test where the efficacy of the min dose established in step one is verified. Now, typically this test is done on a quarterly basis. Once the sterilization validation is performed, you won't have to do it again unless there's a change to your product or your packaging. Now often I get asked if customers looking to switch sterilization providers have to redo the validation process. If you're looking to switch methods completely, like gamma or ethylene oxide to e-beam, then the short answer is yes, you do. But if you are switching from one e-beam to another, the only step that has to be redone is the dose map. So if you want to learn more, give us a call, check out our other crash courses, and we'll see you next time.